Hi, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you a little uh, custom mount I made in my 2008 FJ Cruiser. I've got uh, communications uh, hardware that I'm going to add today. So currently I have this uh, CB radio right here. This is a Midland and the model is a 77-285. Uh, it seems to be an okay radio. I, I picked it up, uh, used off of a local buy and sell we call Kijiji. I uh, I used to have a Cobra um, light watch in here, um, LTD Classic. It's a fairly big radio. I wanted something a little bit smaller and also this uh, particular radio so it illuminates all the uh, buttons and dials and whatnot. They are in amber and that matches the FJ Cruiser dash a little bit better. So aesthetically speaking, it's it's a uh, it kind of fits in with the interior of the truck so that's the other reason that I decided that I'll, I'll try it. And this one also I was able to do a mod on it by looking on the internet and I jumped it up from 4 watts to 8 watt output but it's kind of uh, just slammed in here I don't really have it uh, wired the way I want right now but I'm going to also be adding a, a VHF radio today and I'll go through that, those steps. Um, in case you're wondering this what's this goofy looking thing here this actually holds my Garmin GPS system that I use for uh, navigating in the woods and also for geocaching but anyways I'm going to uh, going to take start taking this apart so I'll uh, pick it up once I get the radio unplugged and show you the bracket itself okay so that's the bracket alone I uh, used uh, just basically used some scraps I had kicking around the shop at the time. Uh, it's a piece of aluminum I salvaged and then I made a cross bracket and this is the original CB bracket and then the I use a ram mount system that I've modified from parts and pieces I've uh, collected over time and uh, I uh, will I'll rivet this onto the next bracket that I'm going to make but I'm going to move now I'm going to show you how to uh, yeah, how I found so this up. The mirror mount has a cover on it. You take the cover off. I don't know if you can see in there too well. Hold on. You can see that there's uh, the factory mounting screws, and then I put a, a larger sheet metal uh, leg in the mount just to give the bracket a little bit of extra bite so it doesn't bounce around. It's not such an issue with. Uh, little midland I have now but with that Cobra it did bounce a bit. Some people take and uh, put a 2x4 in here on magnets and then bolt your bracket to that so if I see it bouncing too much you just might do that. So And do this little added on leg that I put in there. See it's a fairly skookum. Uh, good sized fender washer and then two Phillips screws. The first time I did this uh, there was a bit of an issue with uh, because I was doing so much testing and trying it out and trying to figure it out that I actually almost stripped these screw holes off of my previous FJ Cruiser. Here comes out. When I drilled these holes, I made them uh, larger than the, they need to be, so I've got some adjustments so they weren't so tight. But there's enough length on the factory screw that uh, it still has pretty good purchase on the for the mirror mount. I didn't make get longer screws, but uh, these ones are working fine, and they are relatively self-tapping. Okay, so the next stage we're going to go to is I'm going to uh, fab this up over on the workbench. I'll meet you over there. So after a bunch of fabricating, messing around, come up with this is my original bracket. And it originally had the CB on the into this bracket here. 
as a saw in the truck and then some fabrication and parts donated from different sources this is kind of my Franken bracket my uh, ram ball mount here for the um, GPS holder goes on here and then the Kenwood VHF radio goes into this bracket under the bottom and then the CB holds it all together so uh, I took a little bit of thinking and some test fitting and taking apart and rebuilding but come up with something that I think is going to work I'll show you it fully assembled here in just a second well here it is it's the Franken bracket it's pretty heavy now heavier than what it was but uh, we'll see what happens when I go plug it into the FJ and see um, see what it's like I'm not exactly sure if it's gonna work I might have to put another brace in the in the roof of the truck like some of the other people did with uh, heavy-duty magnets and uh, a 2 by 4 but uh, hope for the best see what happens see if it'll hold it uh, if it flexes too much or whatever but uh, time will tell okay then till later I'll uh, show it inside the truck when I when I get it installed talk to you in a bit well there it is the Franken bracket is installed as you can see there uh, it's not as uh, stable as it was before and it's a little heavy but I'm going to uh, just watch the clearances and stuff here and and uh, pay attention to what it's doing and um, I think it'll be okay it might need some more reinforcements like I was saying before but we'll give this a go and uh, see how it works out to me I think this is uh, it's gonna be okay anyways that's the conclusion of this uh, little project of getting the two radios to mount on the roof of my uh, FJ cruiser uh, as you can see here also still lots of mirror not that you use your mirror lots in these things because you can't hardly see out the back window use your side mirrors more but anyways I still have full access to my rear view mirror this is not hanging down that much and uh, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I might change it up later on, but uh, for now, it's good. Talk to you soon.